My name is Rovena and I'm Savina and you're watching The Associate. In this video we are going to be talking about some products that didn't work for us in the past few months aka product fails. So now let's jump straight into the video. So the first one from the list is the Cosarex sunscreen. It's the Aloe Soothing Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++. So like a regular Korean sunscreen, this one absolutely has no white cast. Mm. And I actually brought this sunscreen on a recommendation of a friend. But unfortunately, the sunscreen did not work for me at all. Even though it melted into my skin very quickly mm. and left no residue as such, mm. as soon as I was out in the sun and I started sweating, the sunscreen started sweating off. Along with my sweat, the product also wore off. I could see it literally dripping from my face along with the sweat. And because of UAE heat, the heat is terrible here and you are going to sweat as soon as you are out. So basically, it's not sweat resistant. At least it wasn't for me. Along with being not sweat resistant, it also was balling up on my skin. I could see those little balls and the the little uh, pilling stuff <laughs> on my face and mm, it sort of nice. weirded me out and no other sunscreen I've used up until now has done that to me and I noticed that only with this one so oh, okay. I'll have to mark it as a product fail. The first product I'm going to be talking about is the Boots Fragrance Free Cleansing Lotion. Now this product is an okay cleanser and it would have been okay for me if I was living in 2018 <laughs> but now that I'm in 2022 and I'm used to cleansing balms to remove my makeup I don't quite like this one that much this one is oil based it does a pretty decent job but it is not up to the par or doesn't match the cleansing property of a cleansing balm even though it says fragrance free and potentially shouldn't have had any kind of irritant mm -hmm. it still does sting your eyes and this one didn't work uh, well as a second cleanser either. You can't use it as a face wash too. So I'm really confused at the end of the day how to use it. So with that being said, this one was a product fail for me. So the second product in my list of product fails is the Sum By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Serum. I had to look it up on my phone. <laughs> So reading the reviews on this product, I figured that it would be a good product for me mm. because I started breaking out recently a lot and I figured salicylic acid in my routine would do some good for mm. me. So I brought this product and within two days I realized that this one does not work for me. Mm. And the reason why I realized is because it has niacinamide in it. She didn't do her research well. Yep, I didn't read the ingredient list well enough. I have spoken about this in the past videos but if you don't know, I have a sort of allergy towards niacinamide on my face. So as soon as I use any product with niacinamide, I know the type of pimples I have and every time I have those pimples, I know that I've used a product with niacinamide in it. That is why this product did not work for me, at least on my face. But I am not going to throw it away and neither am I going to give it to her. <laughs> I am going to use it on my armpits and my legs because I do have a lot of ingrown hairs and a lot of hyperpigmentation on my legs as well as my armpits as well because of shaving. So I'm definitely going to use this on other parts of my body, not going to throw it. But unfortunately it did not work on my face where I wanted it to work. So this one is a product fail for me. So the next product that didn't work out quite well for me is the Ilia Beauty Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. Now this one also is not necessarily a product fail but something that I can't use as a sunscreen due to technicality. Overall it's a brilliant product actually because it's a genius combination of skincare, makeup and SPF all three in one. But for any product to work as a sunscreen on your face and for it to give you maximum protection, you have to use an adequate amount. But since this is a complexion product, you can't use as much. One of the days while using this product, I did try to follow the two finger method which we generally use otherwise while applying our sunscreens. But with this product, first of all, you can't do it because it's quite liquidy. It won't remain on your fingers. The Ilia is more liquidy. Sunny days is right in the middle. So I happen to take adequate enough the amount that you would need for your face and your neck but with that much of product I looked cakey mm. so it's not a product fail as such I tend to use it some days on top of my sunscreen but I don't use this alone as a sunscreen because as a sunscreen technically it won't do good 
I have also written a very detailed blog post on this with the necessary illustrations and you can find it in our description below. Alright, so that was it for today. So this was a short video about our product fails. We really hope you liked this video and if you did like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Comment down below any products that may have failed for you, be it makeup or skincare, hair care, whatever it is. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as well and we will see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.